Now we're going to dig deeper into the primary election votes here in southeast Minnesota. We're looking at the breakdown between Republican and DFL voters by county in the 10 counties within the KTTC viewing area. We are using the results from the U.S. Senate party primaries, which were the two most contested partisan races for voters here at home. All right, so after crunching yesterday's primary election results from the Minnesota Secretary of State's office, we found the Republican candidates for Senate received more total votes in seven of our 10 counties in the KTTC viewing area than the DFL candidates. A look at those seven counties for you right now. Now, the biggest spread between the two parties came Steele County, 70% there with the GOP side of things. The smallest margin down to tenths, tenths of a percent we're talking about was in Goodhue County. You can see nearly a 50-50 split. Let's take a look at the percentages with more DFL support in the U.S. Senate race. Again, these figures represent total party votes cast in the primary in these counties. That said, while these numbers paint a picture of how ballots were cast locally yesterday, primary elections historically have low voter turnout. And according to the Secretary of State, Steve Simon, primary numbers don't necessarily have a correlation as to how voters will show up for that general election. For comparative purposes, we decided to do an even deeper dive here into the state's election data. Going back to the 2020 Minnesota primary, there was also a U.S. Senate race on that year's August ballot, and both tickets also had contested races. Keep in mind, obviously, different years see different candidates on those ballots, so that's going to impact who shows up at the polls. But take a look at this. See how that changes right there. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. All ten of our local counties saw a higher percentage of support for the candidates on the DFL, the DFL side of that year's primary. Again, four years ago. The spread between these extremely close in some cases, looking here at Dodge, Steele, Wabashaw counties, close, right? Again, this time around though, here in 2024, seven of these counties flipped with the GOP primary candidates combined receiving more votes than their DFL challengers.